everybody. Welcome to another Miniverse Make It Mini video. Uh, this one is the Make It Mini Kitchen. And it comes with two sets. Um, it comes with the kitchen and it comes with two sets. This one and this one. So I'll also be putting those together. But I want to open the box and see what's, uh, and see what's up. See what's in here. Um, if I can figure out how to open the box. There's tape. Okay. Tape. Tape. Don't see any tape here. Tape. Tape. All right. Looks like I can open one. One in. This. What's cool about the kitchen is not only is it a kitchen set, but it also has um, a UV oven built into it. I wonder if I'm going to have to cut this other side. Let's see. So you don't need the uh, you don't need the flashlight, uh, the UV flashlight, if you've got uh, this kitchen set, supposedly. Uh, like I said, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Uh, the UV flashlight works pretty well. Uh, uh, it's, I was wondering what these little finger holes at the top are for. Now I know it's taped up there. There we go. Slides right out. Directions to the floor, okay. right there. Get all the directions out of the after the floor. Um, so this is the little, the two little sets it comes with. If I can open it, pretty sure that opens. There we go. Yeah. There's the two sets it comes with. So it looks like a smoothie and um, donuts. Yeah, smoothies and donuts. Uh, the kitchen set itself, pretty cool. It's all taped up. So I'm going to cut lots of, lots of tape to be cut here. I mean, very careful. But you got to get... Um, you gotta get this plastic started, and it does not want to start, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, there's that kitchen part, the tray, and then here's the other part. And I'll pick that up on the floor. <laughs> I, won't, I won't leave it. Okay, so there's those parts. I think that's it. Keep cool. We'll just keep that away. Drop the resin. So that's for the donuts. And then this is for the smoothie. Okay, keep them separate. So they won't get mixed up. Yeah. And then the, the rest of it is the kitchen set. And again, it's going to be taped like mad in here. Uh, I don't think it's too off the bat. I think there's some plastic pieces holding it in place and that's it. So it may not be as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now I can just tell you right now, this, uh, these little oven mitts, uh, my hand is not going to fit in the oven mitt. Somebody's hand might be able to fit in the other mitt, but not mine. Uh huh. At least they're not like metal ties. They're literally like little pieces of rope that are tied in place. So you can just cut them. That's good. Just watch your face. Don't want to cut your nose off. Lots of packaging. Don't want to do 
get rid of my oven mitts. There's a little spoon that came out of the, oh, that's on the tray. Okay. Yep, yep. All right, so here's the kitchen set. And you put the batteries in the back, and it's got the, the thing in the back. So there's the set. Pretty neat looking. And then the oven mitts, mini, mini oven mitts, two of them. Like I said, those are probably not going to fit in my hands, but I guess you're supposed to be able to put them on your, your fingers. <laughs> like that. I don't, I don't know. They won't work for me, I'm sure. And then these all open up. So this is the oven. Ooh, wow, it's very shiny in there. Let me turn this down a little bit. Well, oh, it's all right. I can hold it up. So there's the UV oven. And then these cabinets open up too to put your little food in. The mini foods. The drawers open. Um, I'm glad they're kind of locked in place. This is like a little shelf, but it comes out. Yeah, it's just a, just a holder. And the shelves. The drawers, I'm assuming. Yeah, they pop out. They just kind of lock in place, so that's good. They don't just uh, want to open automatically, but look, it's got a little uh, silverware drawer with little dividers in it. That's, that's neat. And then you got two shelves down here for other stuff. And then, um, yeah, you got the big shelf over there. And then you got these, which open as well, if they're not taped. Of course they're taped. There's that one. And it's got this, uh, I'll open that up to make sure, but I think that's just cardboard. It's got adjustable shelves too, so you can actually pull that shelf out and make it make it lower if you want. And then this one as well, I'm sure it's also taped. So for the food items that need, um, a UV light, which most of the food items do have um, a resin. Yeah, that's just plastic. Um, they do have a resin in there that you have to uh, harden with uh, a UV light. That um, That's cool, but it actually has the UV light um, oven built into it. So I'm going to, does it fold or anything like that? No. There's the front. You can kind of see everything. And the back just is very basic. Just a to back I wonder how easy it's going to be for me to take the battery, put the battery on me. It looks like I need, uh, it's also like a little shelf that pops out on the back too. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver to take the back off to put the batteries in. Um, and it's got, it does have an on off switch, so that's neat. So I'll be right back. Let me, well, let me open this. I think it's just paper, but I want to make sure there's no, uh, there's no little doors or yeah, there's definitely something in there. Okay, this is the berry cereal in the ball. So this is this is the other part of um, the food kit. So you get uh, the tweezers that you get with all of them, and you get a little um, lid for your to squirt out your resin, and then you get a cereal bowl too for uh, for I don't know what it's called. I'll look, I'll, we'll look it up. So anyway, I'll be right back once I can get a screwdriver to put this in. All right, and I did look at the directions real quick just to make sure I was getting everything. So um, I put the batteries in the back and it does have an on off switch right here on the back. So you take that screw out or you don't take it out. You just loosen it up. You um, put the three AA batteries in there, um, put it back on, turn this switch on. And then when you open the oven, you put your item in there on the shelf. And I think uh, you can adjust the shelf. So if you have taller items, you can move that down to where it's a little lower. And uh, so I'll just put it back up. Close this. And then when you hit this little yellow button over here, it'll it'll light up. And you can kind of see the blue. You can see the little timer light up right there. And then you can kind of see blue around it, which means it's on. And if you push the button again, it turns it off before the timer goes off. So it has a, 
it has like a five minute timer on it. So if you just leave it, it'll go off on its own. Um, and then the, um, if you open the door, it'll turn off automatically uh, on its own. Also, you can switch these out. They have a yellow and they also have a pink. So if you want pink, if you like a pink, you can do a pink. Uh, the side one also is supposed to switch out, but I didn't try that one. Okay. Huh, okay. So you want... Oh. I'm dropping everything today. Yeah, if you want pink... Oh, that's yellow again. If you want pink, you can slide it in right there. And it's pink. And you can have yellow and pink, or pink and pink, or yellow and yellow, whatever you want. I think I like the, uh, I just like the yellow, the default. Yeah, so I am going to um, move this over to the side. I am going to use the oven in this one. I will we'll use the oven to uh, to bake the uh, the materials. So uh, I'll be back and I'll get everything turned around. We'll we'll look at everything you get as far as the food goes. Okay, so I got all the stuff over here, and I'm pretty sure this goes on the glaze for the donuts. And then you get the little spoon to spread the glaze, I'm guessing. So you get the donut box, you get the donuts, two donuts, you get the glaze, the cereal goes on the donuts, and then um, the baking tray and the spoon, that all goes to the donuts. Then this little cereal ball, I guess you could just add, I don't know, just add cereal to that. Um, it didn't say to do anything with the cereal ball. This is your smoothie glass, you've got the strawberries, you've got the smoothie milk, You've got the ice, you've got the straw, and you got a little coaster. That's what that little piece of paper was. It was a little coaster to put your to put your drink on, just like that. So uh, I think I'm gonna do the I think I'm gonna do the donuts first. Move all this stuff out of the way. I mean, I guess you could put strawberries on your donuts too. How, how big are these strawberries? How many do you get? Oh, you get uh, quite a few little strawberry slices. So I'm like, I don't know, I might, I might throw a couple of those on my donuts too, because you get, you get a bunch. We'll see, we'll see how that looks. So there's the strawberries. And here are the donuts, and then you get your cereal. And I've got my kitchen over to the side with the oven. Here's how big the cereal is gonna be. Oh, that's tiny little rings. Okay. Blue, purple, and pink, it looks like. Um, I'm going to pour it in this little bowl of cereal. Or a bowl so I can sort out the cereal when I want to put them on the donuts. You don't see many donuts with cereal on them, though, do you? Probably don't see any smoothies with cereal in them either, so I wouldn't do that. They give you a lot of cereal. I mean, that's a lot. Um, I'm surprised they didn't give you any like um, like milk. I know they gave me the milk for the smoothie, but I don't think there's going to be enough of that to put um, in the cereal bowl to hold it in place. Maybe there is. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what's left. Okay. That's... Yeah, you get quite a bit of that, that cereal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn you down a little bit. And then I'm going to get the glaze. It's always a piece of tape. Out of their tape. And then you get your little seal. Throw that away. And then we'll put our little squirt bottle top on there. And we'll glaze our donut. What's the best side? I think the... Um, I think this side looks a little bit better. Um, 
to figure out if I want to do this actually on this or on something else. I could do a little, no, I don't want to do it on the baking tray. I'll do it right here. If I get a little bit on the, my cutting thing, it's fine. This could almost work as, uh, as milk if they give you enough of it. Okay. Now we're going to get cereal. Let me just say, the cereal is very tiny. Pulled up pretty good. Cereal one. Drop the toothpick on the floor. Do want a couple of little strawberries? No, that doesn't make sense to put strawberries on there. Yeah, it'll stay. It fell down in the little hole in the middle. See what the I could not have done this with the little tweezers that they give you, and maybe you can, but there are two. Uh, this one's a little more precise, and a little more I can grab onto them better. The little the little ones they give you, you can't really can't really grab very well. Get over it. well, dropped another one down there. Can I get that back out of there? Nope. They get sticky if they get um, too much glaze on them. Try to fill them up. I don't want to leave spaces. Okay, now I'm going to stick this on this little tray. And I'm going to put it in our oven. So, see if we can get our oven over to where you can see it. 
Probably not, but I'll try. Get that. Put the little tray in there. Close the door. Push the button. And we're, we're going. And it'll go for five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to make my smoothie. So we've got our jar here. And we've got, of course, I didn't take the tape off because I forget every time it has tape on it. So you get to see me struggle to take the tape off. That's, that's the goal. Okay. And it says just fill this up and then add your ice and your strawberries. I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. Yeah, I've had bad luck with filling up containers before. Hopefully this actually has some in there. There we go. Well, it's not much though. Missed. Got a little bit on the edge. See <laughs> what the? You can smell that resin bacon in that little oven. It's uh, quite, uh, quite strong. You see, you can't squeeze the top part. It's too thick. Well, I'm going to turn, I'm going to put the lid on here, turn this upside down, and maybe it'll flow down there a little bit. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, while that's upside down, I'm going to take this ice. Look at this ice. It actually has the, like a little tab on it. Let me know if I can grab that. Like you would actually have on, like, almost like a piece of bread, like a bread bag tie. I know most of them are twisties now, but you do have those on some of them. And then here's our bag of ice. That's pretty cool looking. I'm just going to drop some of these in here. And I'll drop some more if... Uh, if there's more in there and I'm going to probably put a couple of strawberries in here too. Trying to make it to where you can see it from the edges. You can see it from the outside. Put one more. Gotta stick it in the middle. Okay, let's see if I uh, wipe these off. Okay, my little oven went off, but let's see if I can get any more out of this smoothie thing. Yeah, there's just nothing there. You can see I'm completely flattening the package. There's just nothing in there. You can see it. 
So I'm really, really, really disappointed in these drink things. Um, they just, they're not very, I had bad luck with a set of candles. Uh, they didn't give me enough to fill it up. This, um, well, I mean, I guess I can make it to where it's partially drank. You know, you drank some of it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to UV light this one in the same, uh, the same way I did this one. Now these are probably, it's probably going to be hot. I don't want to grab it with those. See if it's still sticky. Yeah, it's a little sticky still. And then the drink, I'm going to set the, the shelf down a little bit. And I'll put the drink in there. I don't think this is the strongest UV light. Honestly, my flashlight works better. But we're trying out the kitchen to see how it works. But it doesn't work very well. I can tell you that. The shelf doesn't want to move. There we go. I'll put this drink in there. And we'll set the timer on there again. And uh, I'll probably just use my light on these, the, my flashlight. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, the smoothie came out. I ended up doing that with my, with my flashlight too. I've got one of these UV flashlights. Um, if I put it in the little oven that the kitchen set comes with, honestly, I would have to do it two sets. I would have to do it two cycles for like 10 minutes total, which would be fine. I could do that for 10 minutes and it would, it would work perfectly fine it that would be fine but um it, you would have to do it for two five five minutes was not long enough uh, it was still a little sticky and um you know the longer you get them in here the better off it is and um i don't know it's, it's it worked better with the, with the handheld model flashlight and i did put i shine it from the bottom and the um, the side so i made sure it was all really good and lit up uh, the donuts um here's the donuts i also did those on my flashlight as well pretty cool they came out really nice there's the piece of cereal that came down at the bottom so those are cool so what i want to know the last thing i've got just a little bit of uh of this glaze left i don't think i used all of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour out i'm going to pour this cereal into this box and i'm going to put the glaze in the bottom and then uh, i'm going to pour the cereal back in I think there'll be enough glaze in there to, um, I'll just leave you down there. Um, I think there'll be enough glaze in there to fill up at least the bottom, the very bottom of it. And I'll pour, I'll pour just enough cereal in there to really, uh, just to, just to cover it up. I won't, I won't really like go crazy with the cereal, but that looks, that kind of looks like milk. It's funny. This is how much I needed for the stupid smoothie. Yeah, they give me tons of glaze, which I don't need tons of. If you were just doing the donuts, you don't need this. And I'm probably end up gonna get more than, than that once it works its way down. These little bottles are hard to squeeze too. I don't know how, honestly, these are marketed for children like uh, eight and above, I believe. Um, I don't see how they do some of this stuff because it's so hard to squeeze these packages. It's uh, it makes a sticky. You get resin on you, and it's sticky. It gets sticky on your fingers. Um, it's just kind of messy. So I'm just gonna pour the cereal in here, and I may take the toothpicks and kind of like uh, I may take a toothpick and push it around down into the bowl a little bit. Actually, I might just dump it all in there. Go. Yep. And I'm gonna take the spoon. I'll just take the spoon and push it in. Yeah. It looks somewhat realistic. There we go. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to UV that too. I think that's pretty cool looking. Actually, the bowl of cereal uh, looks pretty realistic. So anyway, I'll be back once I, uh, once I do the UV light on this. Okay, so here's how the, uh, the bowl of cereal, I actually like that. It came out really cool. 
Um, so if you don't use ton, if you don't use all your glaze on your donuts, which I can't imagine you using all your glaze on your donuts, then uh, um, use it in the bowl of cereal because that actually I think the bowl of cereal turned out better than the smoothie thing, uh, which is like I said disappointing. That makes two I've had. I bought a bunch, but um, two out of the ones I've opened have been like that. Shame on you, company, because they cost too much to do this. So anyway, that's pretty cool. I like the bowl of cereal. So I enjoy this. I enjoy the kitchen set. I do think the kitchen set is really nice if you don't have a UV light already. Like if you don't own one or if you don't want to go buy one, um, that it's really nice because you don't have to worry about... Um, you know, go and buy one. You can have, you can just use uh, this instead of sitting out in the sun. So you can sit these out in the sun for like 10 minutes and they'll firm up as well. They'll set as well. But um, if you don't want to do that, you can definitely get one of these kitchen sets. Um, the kitchen set was about the same price as one of the handheld flashlights. So, and they don't work quite as well because this, even though it's been in there like uh, five minutes because um, I used the oven, I'll probably still put it in there a little bit longer because it's still a little tacky. So I'll probably stick it in there for another set, another five minute rotation. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to uh, let you go for this video and I'll have tons more to do. So keep your eye on the channel and give me a like and subscribe. Really love just getting started with this stuff. So if you, uh, if you like these videos and enjoy them, would we'll love it if you subscribe. I'm going to have tons more of these to do. Um, so if you watch my haul, you see how many I bought because I'm crazy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you later.